What's up everybody, Alessandro here and today we're gonna have a look at what I think is one of the best affordable everyday watch that I've seen in my life. Seriously, it is that good. I mean the amount of watch that you're getting for less than $90 at the time of recording this video is just crazy. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this is the Casio Edifice EFV 110D and by the way, this is a woman's watch measuring only 35 millimeters in diameter and 38.5 millimeters if you measure the crown with it. So it's a pretty small watch that will fit small and medium sized wrist, no problem. I particularly like the style of the case which is very reminiscent of the Sarb line from Seiko, so the Sarb 033 and 35 and you can see that with the curved shape of the case and those lugs as well, which are brushed on the top. And then you have that kind of under layer, which is polished and acts as a bevel. I have to say that the finishing on this watch is very good for the price. And you can see that with the bezel, with that flat polish, it's very sharp. By the way, the whole watch is made in stainless steel as well as the bracelet, which is hard to believe because it is so lightweight. But let's go back to the case and more specifically the crown, which is a screw down crown. I know you wouldn't expect that from such an affordable piece. The crown in itself is pretty small, so it's not easy to grip, but it's okay. I mean, it's not as bad as my Orient Ray 2. And then you have crown guards, which are very welcome on such an affordable piece, which will keep the crown safe and they have a cool shape too. The side of the case has two parts, one that is brushed and the underside that is polished, which gives it a nice depth. Obviously with such an affordable piece, you will get a mineral crystal. So make sure that you do not scratch it. But the star of the show really is that magnificent black sunburst dial. I just love it. I cannot stop staring at this thing. I say black, but actually it's more like a dark gray and it just plays with the light like crazy when outside this thing shines. The dial actually has two layers because on the outside you have those grooves that you may not pick up when you first see the watch at a first glance. The dial also features applied indices with sharp edges and they catch the light a lot as well. The edifice logo, not everybody is gonna love it. I actually like it because I think it gives the watch a sportier look. That date window just Look at how well it is integrated in the overall design. From a distance, it just looks like the nine o'clock marker. And by the way, only the 12 and six o'clock markers are just a bit bigger than the other ones, save obviously for the one at three o'clock. So the symmetry of this dial is not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. On the black model, you just get a splash of color with the tip of the seconds hand and the water rating being yellow. On the blue model, it's orange. And on the white model, it's just plain black and silver. So the white model has a monochromatic look and actually this one is not white, it's kind of off-white. I would not say cream. The loom on this thing is pretty bad, but you would not buy such a watch for the loom. I mean, look at how it compares to my SKX 013 here. Clearly not the best watch on the market. When you flip the case, you have a screw down case back, which again is something that you would not expect on such an affordable piece. Inside you can find a quartz movement, which is the module 5340, and it has a battery life of three years. And also, as you would expect, it features a quick set date. The bracelet, it's not the best, but it certainly isn't the worst either. Sure, it rattles a little bit, but it's much better than most Seiko 5s I've handled, and it features solid links. The center links are polished, whereas the shoulders are brushed. I would have gone with a full brush bracelet because I just think it looks better, but it certainly doesn't detract from the look of the watch. It has hollow end links, which is totally understandable given the price point, but it has one of the best clasps I've seen on such an affordable piece because it is not too big, it's actually pretty small and it looks good. On most affordable watches, the clasp is pretty bad. It's too big, it doesn't inspire confidence and it looks certainly bad. Here, it's a totally different story. I just wish it had a third micro adjustment hole. If you have small wrists, it's probably a good idea to reverse the bracelet just to make it even more comfortable. I will link to the original video right there and in the description as well. But because the end links fold completely, the fit of this watch on my six inch wrist is absolutely perfect. The lug width is 18 millimeters. The lug to lug distance is 41.7 millimeters, which is nice and small. And the watch is only 9.5 millimeters thick, which means that it hugs my wrist like no other watch in my collection. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the most comfortable watch that I have in my whole collection. The chapter ring actually looks like a re -hot because it is so steep. And being so simple as well, it gives a nice depth to the dial. The hour and minute hands 
clearly have an Omega Aquaterra vibe going on. I would just have loved to see a bigger arrow on the hour hand, but maybe it was too close to the real deal. And having a smaller arrow means that this one flies a little bit more under the radar. These are faceted hands and the finishing is pretty good for the money. But because the hands and the hour markers have faceted sides, the time always remains legible even if the light hits the crystal. Now I know that a lot of you guys love this watch because when I did the live unboxing, I saw a lot of clicks on my affiliate links. And by the way, there will be one in the description as well if you want to get one for yourself, that will help the channel a lot. But also I got images and messages of people telling me I just got it because it looks so good, not even waiting for this review. So it is that good guys. Seriously, I've been trying to find something bad to say about this watch, but I just couldn't find it. And being a 35 millimeters watch, you can see just how well it fits my small six inch wrist, but you don't have to go that small. You can take the bigger model, which is the EFV 100D, and they have it in white, blue, and black as well. And I know I've said a lot of times on this channel that you don't need to wear a small watch if you have a small wrist, but I'm telling you guys, this is the most comfortable watch I have in my collection. So it's practical because it's always on time thanks to the quartz movement. It's affordable. It's less than $90 in the United States and less than 90 euros in Europe. It's super versatile. I've rocked this one at the office or when I was out and about and it just works with any outfit. And because it's small and lightweight, it is super comfortable. Seriously guys, for the past few weeks, I've been wearing this and my Starnhardt GMT 39. That's it. Every time I put this watch on, I think to myself, it looks so good, why is it not a luxury piece? I would love to see something like this from Grand Seiko or Omega or Rolex or whatever. But seriously guys, when you think about it, do you need that? I haven't been this excited to review a watch since the very beginning of this channel. Seriously guys, it is that good. This one is a solid 10 out of 10. But just don't take my word for it. Just go in a store and try to find one. They are pretty easy to find and just try it on. You will see just how good it is. And you probably wouldn't expect this from a Casio edifice because I don't know about you, but when I think about Casio edifice, I think about big chronographs. They are pretty well made and they are packed with features, but they are pretty busy and they just don't work as well as a simple everyday watch on a small wrist. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this watch and do you have another watch which is a great alternative as an everyday watch under $100, please share with everybody in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check the little bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I drop a video just like this one. And in the meantime, thank you so much for dropping by. Stay stylish and keep watching.